Previously on Welcome to the Family. And I have to speak to children. I'm not so thrilled about this. And he's kind of interesting and unusual sometimes. Police bomb squad. That's always what you want to see when you get to a school. This is what happened. This is what they want to do next. What do you think? You want in? You want out? How do we want? So we should be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. It appears that we have some new residents at the uh, Boa World HQ. And um... It's of an aviary sort. And it has nested in one of the fans. We have a fan of our fan. Are there eggs in there? Wait, where'd the bird go? It's up there, it's just rotated. It's looking at us not too happily. It's looking at us, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Good job. Our eggs up there. <laughs> I feel like this is deforestation or something. It's horrible. Yeah. Let's see. I think we just have a giant. Tar is that a? That's a tarantula. No, it's a baby bird. You horrible person. Oh, is that a baby bird? It's two baby birds. <laughs> you horrible person. How could you? It's two baby birds. No, we have to. No. <laughs> Are you happy? You just destroyed two baby birds' lives. There's a worm in here. Maybe I can feed it. Oh, I think they're dead. No, they're not dead. They're just at that stage where they can't care for themselves. Put the nest first, and then put the bird. Yeah, yeah, they're totally still alive. Is it back? Is it? Oh, it's back. Yeah, totally. It's gonna kick our ass. You put it. Oh my God! You gotta fix it. It's shaking its leg. Shush! I know. Oh, how cute! Oh. Here, it's, wait. Let me Instagram. It's so cute. No, I want it. You always steal my Don't Instagram. Don't steal it. I just said it. Here. <laughs> What, is this considered kidnapping? No, we're replacing. <laughs> oh my god, what do we feed them? What do we feed them? That's no, not our that's job. Not <laughs> I'm trying to get the mom's attention. <laughs> How do you attract a bird? <laughs> I'm on my way to jury duty once again. I have been called to jury duty like six times in my life. This is the second time that I'm actually going though. They just keep calling me. I wish they'd stop. How many other people get called to jury duty this many times with summons? Oh my gosh, what a waste of a day. And then, not only that, but you gotta do this to get to jury duty. Back to back traffic for an hour. Not fun. All right. What are we up to, man? We're going kayaking. Yeah, uh, we are. An inflatable kayak. What yep. do you think? Is it gonna sink? I hope it doesn't sink, but hey, <laughs> you know, there's always that chance. The whole kayaking adventure. I got a present from a friend of mine a few years back, and it's an inflatable kayak. So, uh, what's the first step, man? Have you explained to me how this No, I think I can figure out how this works. There you go. Only dude I know that has a kayak comes in a box. You see this? A damn box. And then we have our oars. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much good to go. We brought an inverter for the car that was supposed to like, you know, feed it with a pump and make it, but it took forever. So, you know, LJ and I kind of, we tried blowing it up with our mouths every once in a while. It just took, took forever. It took about an hour before we could finally get this thing seaworthy. All right, we did it, man. We did it. You got the back. The what? We have to carry it. Oh, okay. Water. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then there was the question of whether or not it is seaworthy, being the fact that it is an inflatable kayak. It's not like we were kayaking around the canals of Miami. We were going out into the ocean. And uh, now we're just heading over and... Uh, launch. We will launch. Yeah, let's go. You are here. Where is you? You are here. Right here. Cool. Launching. So I had a break. He gave us a two hour lunch. So just really just sat in the car and got some work done. Just to have some privacy because there's like people everywhere at the courthouse. So I'm on my way back to continue my civic duty. 
when we're first launching the kayak, there's a guy that said, he looks at the kayak and he notices it's inflatable and says that we need to be careful because since our thing is inflatable, that there's apparently oyster beds down the, down the river, down the mangrove path. So he said that, you know, it's kind of, it's really sharp oyster bed or whatever. So it can cut up the thing that we have. So we have to be kind of careful that we don't sink our kayak. That didn't seem to phase LJ. That will be fun. Me, on the other hand, I thought, we're not doing this. We're not, we're not, we're not kayaking today. I'm not getting taken down by clams. We should be fine. So happy because our trial got settled and we we're selected to be the jurors for questioning. They canceled us and let us go home early, which is awesome. And then they gave us a certificate of appreciation. So that's cool, so I get to beat traffic on the way home. This is nice. Really need to take more advantage of the nature we have in South Florida. But for the most part, the nature is this, water and mangroves. So anyhow, we're getting out to the ocean and we see this shadowy ridge of clams. And it took some navigating to get through. LJ wanted to film this, but I thought it was much more important to, you know, use our kayaking abilities to get past this rather than capture it on film and sink. I still say we should have filmed it. I mean, I've filmed much more dangerous things. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there's no visual evidence about these clams, but they were indeed dangerous and they could have indeed popped the kayak. And we can see a bit of Miami out there. Yeah. All the way over there, and some over there. Keep on paddling, bro. You're doing good. <laughs> One of the things that I observed today when a jury duty is that the parking lot was absolutely empty. I've been to the courthouse many times, and it was always packed. It kind of felt like there weren't a lot of cases. So is that a good sign that less people are committing crimes? <laughs> God, I hope so. Sometimes when you're on the water for hours on hours, you kind of maybe have to go to the bathroom. And I needed to pee. So I got off the kayak and tried to go. Hey, what are you doing? I have a stage fright problem. <laughs> I'm having fun. What do you mean you can't go? LJ made it real easy for me. There we go. So now we will head more south. Which is actually behind us, so we gotta do a little turnaround. And uh, we will explore more down the coast. At one point they told us that there was 46 judges and they could see up to 80 cases a day. Of course, not every case is tried. I want to say there was between 30 and 40 of us completely lined up, collected our paperwork and told us that we were about to get questioned and taken into a courtroom. At which point then they told us we had a two hour lunch. I want to say all but one person was back on time. We were allowed to go home early and we had the choice. Unless of course we wanted to stay if people wanted their $15 payment. Whatever the excuses were, but not one person raised their hand so that was kind of interesting. We have a sports team down here called the Miami Dolphins. Where does this name come from? Well apparently we actually do have dolphins in the ocean. There's another group of kayakers that we were talking to and they say, look behind you, look behind you. Apparently we had dolphins that were following us. We did see little glimpses of their fins here and there, but it was kind of cool. We were just out there in the ocean with dolphins. Back in Boa World HQ, Sabrina sliced her foot. Don't film me, don't film me. Don't film, don't film me! Don't give me your, give me, you're dripping everywhere. Hi guys, this is Alexa from Welcome to the Family. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hey. Oh yeah, and share it with your friends and family.